Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's the Bee Master, B Diddy here. Um, today I'm going to be doing my first beer review. Um, I got this inspiration from a YouTube channel, Louisiana Beer Reviews. If you get a chance, check that out. So while this guy is over in Louisiana doing beer reviews, I figure over here in Mississippi, I'll do beer reviews and I'll call it uh, Beer Reviews of Mississippi. But I want to give a big shout out to Louisiana Beer Reviews. And I wanted to kind of veer away from the game thing just for a little while because I haven't really found any other interesting games that I think would, you know, that you'd be very interested in. So today I'm going to do a beer review on Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. Now, I know that now when you go into the gas stations and grocery stores, Miller High Life is you know relatively cheap in comparison to Miller Lite or Budweiser it wasn't always this way matter of fact um, it is called the champagne of beers for a reason at one particular time Miller High Life was the best-selling beer in the United States it's a classic American lager if you like um, Budweiser if you like Miller Lite uh, even Coors or Coors Light give Miller High Life a chance. Realize that even though now it's value priced, it wasn't always value priced, okay? Now, this here is a limited edition can. It has the red, white, and blue because Miller has always been very good about sponsoring our troops. This particular can for every top that you save they will donate 10 cents to returning veterans that are coming back from the war. So, um, like I said, Miller has always, I mean, always done stuff for our troops. They uh, support the USO and all that. So anyway, and uh, you know, I actually found out today the history on the Miller Brewing Company is Frederick Miller, he was a German and he came over here and he settled in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where he bought Plank Road Brewery, which was later to be known as the Miller Brewing Company. And when he brewed his first batches of beer, he had a pocket full of hops that he brought from Germany, is what that he brewed his beer with. All right, so it's pretty cool history. If you ever get a chance, go to MillerCoors.com because now they are sort of a partnership. So uh, look that up. <clears throat> anyway, let's just dive right into it, all right? We got a nice, just generic bar glass here for draft beer. We're gonna pop the top open here. Oh, uh, by the way, I was talking about the value price. I got an 18 pack of these for $10.99. They do not sell singles where I live. If they did, I would have bought just a big one. But there again, I like Miller High Life, so maybe not. All right. Now let's give it just a good aggressive pour, all right? A lot of bubbles. It's just a stereotypical American lager. Nice, white, frothy head. There we go. Just let it calm down for a minute. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, well, you don't know how to pour beer. Yeah, I do know how to pour beer. You have to turn the glass sideways. A lot of beer reviews, people like us, the reason that we pour it like this is because we want to see the head. We want to see what the beer has to offer. When you turn it like this and you pour it, it doesn't matter how frothy the beer actually is. Because when you when you do that, you're actually taken away from the frothy. And one of the biggest aspects of drinking beer out of a glass is you want a head on it. Okay? Period. Now, while we're going to let this settle down for a minute, we're going to talk more about Miller High Life. Um, to be honest with you, when I first started drinking beer, Miller High Life was the worst beer I ever drank in my life. I swear to God. When the first time I ever drank Miller High Life, I swear it was God awful. I mean, I, me personally, I thought that it was just trash. But it's not trash. 
I think the older that I get, the more I like it. So it's kind of one of those beers, either when you first try it, you're going to love it or you're going to hate it or it's you're just going to grow on you. But either way, it is a classic American beer. It's just one of those that you see everywhere you go. And, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to avoid it. But I know people that swear by Miller High Life. I mean, they just love it. That is their, you know, that is just their beer. Now, one thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. Little girl in the moon right there. I know you guys can barely see it. There we go. Little girl in the moon. That is the classic symbol for Miller High Life. So, little girl in the moon. Go ahead and top that off there. And I mean, look at the look at the head that we're getting on there. I mean, it's just a. Man, look at some of this foam. I mean, it is thick. Look at that. That is some thick foam right there. Yep, that is pretty thick. Now. Well, let's just dig down into this. We'll give it the smell taste. Okay. One thing about High Life is it's always had a cooked vegetable smell to it. It doesn't taste anything like it smells, but if you were to take like uh, and cook a can of green beans or something, it smells, that's, that's kind of what it smells like, even though there's no vegetables in it. It's made from barley, hops, water, yeast, and of course, corn. One of the major differences between a lot of your Budweiser products and your Miller products are, Budweiser uses rice, which gives it, in my personal opinion, a little more of a bitter taste. Miller uses corn, which is a little sweeter and a little smoother. So that's, you know, one of your main differences between the two. Go ahead and see if I can't finish this off here. There we go. It almost looks like ice cream and it's so thick. And it, and it could just be the way that I poured it as well. Just trying to flatten it out a little bit. A little foam ain't never gonna hurt you. But anyway, there you have it. Uh, classic, you know, typical American beer. It's kind of clearish, golden. You know, which is, I mean, you're gonna find not a whole lot of bubbles streaming up. So, I mean, it's not as carbonated as you would expect. But it is a typical American beer. It's got a good golden yellow color to it. And now the most important part is the taste. All right, it's very smooth. It's a little sweet. Um, there, there's just really not a whole lot to it. The mouthfeel is kind of watery. It's kind of thin. Um, you know, like I said, there's just really not um, a whole lot to it. We'll try again. We'll go for a little double sip here. Once again, it's pretty light. Um, you know, this isn't one of those beers that you're going to turn it up and just go. Whoosh. It's not one of those. It's very easy drinking. It's very smooth. And it's really good on draft. If you like draft beer, then you will really enjoy this particular beer. Um, Applebee's, when you go to Applebee's and you order a apple draft, it's Miller High Life is what it is. They call it Apple Draft. That's their signature beer. But it is Miller High Life, okay? But, um, so yeah, if you like, you know, American lagers, this is one of your 
traditional American style lagers. Uh, excuse me. Miller Brewing Company has been brewing Miller High Life for several years. It's been around. Uh, some people even call it old man beer. You see a lot of older men drinking Miller High Life because back in their time, when you went to a bar, that's what they pushed was Miller High Life. That was their biggest you know, thing. Like I said, at one point in time, that was the biggest selling beer in the world. It's a very good beer. Um, me personally, if I would have to rate it, I will go... I'll go with a B. I'll go with just a solid B. Maybe a B minus, but it's definitely, definitely better than average. Okay, it is most definitely, it's not an average beer. It is above average. It is a classic. If you ever get the chance, go ahead and get you one. It ain't gonna hurt you. It's just as good as the rest of the American classic bloggers. So, there you have it. That uh, ends it for this video. Y'all shoot me an email, vhicks51388 at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and as a shout out to Louisiana Beer Reviews, I'm going to conclude this one with y'all come on down to Mississippi.